Hi everyone, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I continue to build the Back to the Future DeLorean. I am on issue 48. 48 is a doozy, 29 steps. It's going to take me about 45 minutes to get through this video for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back. Let's look at the magazine for issue 48, where you can build the iconic 80s time machine in 1 8 scale. And if you haven't done so already, head over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this car today. That's fantastic. So this time, we have a lot to do here, and this is the fun part for me because I like electronics and I like wiring, and we're going to do a lot of running wire cables wire ties, and so forth. So I'll try to keep it as simple as possible for you so you can enjoy it also when you get your own DeLorean. So we can see we have numerous steps involved here with routing the wires that are already present on our dash and our center console from previous builds. Now we're going to neaten them up a little bit, run them around, and secure them in place where they need to be. Then we're going to be running some new wires over here, and we're going to be routing those also along over and under the dash area and securing those with some wire ties also. So we have a total of 22 steps involved with that, and it should be fun. And moving on, we actually have about 29 steps, <laughs> so, so it's even going to be even better. But we're going to be running a lot of those loose wires that we saw from the previous builds, uh, from the previous stages, and neaten them up a little bit until we finally have the finished product here after step 29 in these instructions. And then as far as the article goes, we only have one article because we have so much wiring they just gave us one article. And it's the Time Traveler's Guide, Elizabeth Shue, Jennifer Parker, Parker, Jennifer Parker. So. A look at the career of the actress who played Jennifer in the Back to the Future sequels. So, pretty cool there. Then, we know we got more wiring ahead of us in issue 49. So, let me get the parts out and we'll get a close look at it, then we'll get started. Here's the parts pack for 48, and you can see we're full of wires here and a few screws. So, I'll take these out, we'll get a closer look, and I'll explain to you what they are. I'm going to go ahead and show you these wires in stages, and they are numbered, uh, of course, issue 48. So it'll be 48A, 48B, 48C. So this is A, and this is what they call a wire separator. It's made out of plastic, and we'll show you how that works a little bit later. Then the next wire is this uh, very large bundle of wire. It's all twisted here on the end, and this is a 48B, and it's made up of two black wires, two yellow wires, a brown wire, a white wire, and two red wires. Then we received a very thick wire, it almost looks like tubing, and that's 48C. Next we received a yellow wire, which is 48D on top, and then uh, 48E is very thin red wire, there, there's two of them that are together. And then we have 48F, which is also very thin red wire, and there's four of them that are together. And lastly, all of our wires and parts that we received with this issue, we received 48G, and this looks to be like two wire bundles strapped together, and they have numerous colors on them. Red, uh, three, three reds, two reds, a blue, and a yellow and then once again three reds, a blue and a yellow. So it's repeated. And then we have another wire bundle, very small thin red wire. There's four of them together. We received four uh, wire straps or tie straps 
and a bunch of FP screws. So let's get started. And just to show you, there is a difference between the two uh, bundles of wire that had four very thin wires in each bundle. You had one that was shorter than the other. So the one that's shorter is the F48F, and the one that's longer is 48H. Here are the recommended tools and supplies you'll need for stage 48 and 49 and subsequent stages to follow. You can purchase every one of these on my Amazon store. I'll put a link in the description below. But definitely some extra wire ties, the very small 4 inch ones. Definitely an X-Acto knife. The glue looper, this will be very nice to use to apply your super glue to certain areas. Your Weera PHO screwdriver, Tamiya sprue cutter and nips, great for cutting very small wires and plastic. Your Tamiya tweezers, very high quality, high grade tweezers. Loctite super glue and super glue accelerator. You also need to get your little cups here to put your super glue on while you apply it. And I do highly recommend some scotch tape to tape things away and keep things secure temporarily. And also, you'll need some magnifiers to look at the very small wires and small parts. These wires go into very tiny holes, so these could be very handy for you. And going on, installing metal parts. We use the Vaseline for that. And I also use these disposable micro applicators. Alright, so before we start using all those new wires, we're going to deal with the wires that we currently have already on our dash. And uh, try to get those neatened up a little bit and more screen accurate to, to the movie car. So the first thing they want us to do is take this wire here and we're going to be dealing with this wire coming off this white box. Let me zoom in a little closer. So they want us to take this wire here and put it down behind these relays that are here on the dash and then we're going to wrap it under the dash. Of course after we wrap it under the dash okay, it's going to go back around And go over here with all these wires there, just like that. Okay. Also, don't forget to run the wire coming from the back of the dash along here, too. And along with this large wire bundle, it's going to go there also. Now we need to get our floor, and we're going to put our floor in. Okay, we'll take our floor, we'll set it down, and we're going to run center console right on the floor. Just like that. Now we'll turn it back over again. And we're going to be putting in four FP screws. Be putting in four FP screws. Just kind of get them started. Ok, 
Do the back ones next. And one more. And two up front. And that looks good. And there it is, all the wiring is through center console so we got all that situated now let's move on to step eight where we go ahead and identify all the cables and put them inside the wire separator and that's this right here and we'll show that next so we have our wire separator and it is uh, a little different on each side. You have a thinner part here, tab, smaller tab, versus a larger tab. So pay attention to that. We're going to start feeding our wires in with the red wires toward the smaller tab and working our way to the right. Now we have our wire bundle, which is a 48B, and I'm going to separate these. They have twisted, but I think it's just going to be easier for me to separate them. And start feeding them in through individually. Now you want them to go through it, the channel, and you want it to be equal on each side. Okay. Pull it through, at least halfway through, and feed it down through the other side. And there we go, just like that. So they're pretty much even on each side, and that's how you feed them through. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, feed the rest of these off camera, and I will be right back. Another way of feeding these wires through is you can line them up to where they're pretty much even. with each other like that and then you can feed them through the holes from the top down like that and you pull them through evenly and that way they're even on both sides so here's uh, all the wires are fed through the separator red red white white black black yellow yellow and brown now what they tell us to do now is that the near the end we'll go ahead and twist them And the reason why we're twisting them, we need to be able to feed them through a channel. And I'll do the same thing on the other end. Just like that. And 
And there we go. Now we'll mount this to the dash. Now they want us to mount this to the dash. And remember you have a large tab and a small tab. There's a large hole and a small hole. So it's simply going to go right there on that. It's not very secure very well, so I am going to super glue it in place. Here's the super glue I'm going to use. I'm going to use my glue looper. And I'll tack it down with the super glue accelerator. And we'll let that dry just a little bit. Next we need to tuck these wires. Now this wire lead here, it's going to follow this yellow wire under the dash and on through to the back. Okay. Now, to neaten it up, I'm just going to take and twist it just to tighten the wires up a little bit, right? Because it's got to go like that, and it's got to go under. And on out the back. Take enough, wrapped them around back edge there, and they look good there. Now the next set is going to go across the dash here in front of that air, air inlet or exhaust and through that hole on the bottom there. Okay, so I'm going to twist these up a little bit. And run that there. And through the hole. To sit there in front and wrap around there like that. Okay, so that looks good. Perfect. Next we'll take 48C, which is the yellow wire and 48D, which is this black, very thick tube type wire, and they're going to run together over the dash. So I want to kind of put these together here. And maybe easier to run these through the ends first. And I'll just twist this around that a little bit. It's going to go under this bundle. Oh, 
and around. Through the dash. And it's going to run once again in front of these relays. Both the tube and the wire. Push it down. Okay. And then it's going to go around just like the other one around the outside and through that hole there. I'm going to take some, some scotch tape and tape that tube. Same thing with the other side over here with the tube. The wire is going to be easy. I can wrap it around the other wire. But the tube is different. Take a little bit of super glue. Put it in that crack. Get some accelerator on it. And then that should hold it in there. So I am super gluing these tubes in place.
just tapped a little bit of super glue in some inconspicuous places to help hold the tubing in place. So that's how that looks there. Next we run 45E and it's simply just going to lay across the dash here and wrap around and find its way behind the, the dash just like the other one. So in this case I'm going to run it through. That's how that looks there. That looks good there. Next we run a wire tie on this area right here. So we'll feed the tie through that. Just like that. Take some good cutters. Next we run 48F, which is the four wire bundle. It's a shorter one. And it's going to run right along here and just be sticking up. So we need to route it under, under the dash. Just like the other one. like that. There that is. Now we work on the other side. We work on this one. And it feeds through the bottom, just like that. Around here. And like that. Okay, took some coaxing because I used some super glue on it. Next we have the H wire and it runs along here
Okay. Because it's going to feed into this, these coils also. It's going to run in under the dash. And we need to run a wire tie for this now for H. Secure it. Under all that. like that. Now that we're at the point where we have all our wire bundles ran through where they need to be, so we have the H wire running here. Um, we'll start off with the E wire, which is the, the bundle with just two red wires on it. It's going to go to the coil here. Okay, So we need to feed it through the holes that's on the coil. one all that work for one and the next one feeds into the same coil in the other hole there we go so that was the E wire next we take the F wire we run a long one Cut off just a little bit. And we'll feed it to the other coil. That's in there. This one here, I'm going to feed into the very the third one over. And then the other two feed in. other side of the coil. There we go. Alright. That was fun. Top coil here. Feeds into the...
foil here. There we go. Wire H feeds over on the other side of the coil, on the other coil on the other side over here. And then all three of these feed in to this coil. Need to trim them. There they are. They're all on the coils now. I'm going to take some super glue to them so they don't move. There we go, they should dry. And lastly, we take these wires here. And they feed in to that coil. There we go. Just goes in a little more. Do the red now. And the blue. Yellow. Red. Oops. Blue. And 
goes in. Trim it some. Right there. For the power. Tap a little super glue on that. There we go. And that does all that. Wow. That was a lot of work. And that completes stage 48. We had a lot of fun putting in these wire bundles and all the wiring and and everything associated with it, uh, wiring up all the, the coils and the relays on top of the dash. It was a challenge, but it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. The key here is have a good set of tweezers and also have yourself some super glue and some kicker to dry things fast. Also, you might want to get yourself an ex some extra wire ties if you so choose to use these wire ties. I know there's some aftermarket ones that are smaller but uh, I prefer to use the ones that the, the kit gave me and I'm not going to do any modifications to this unless I absolutely have to. So if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for all notifications. Head over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this kit today. Happy modeling everybody and take care.